Hey guys, today I want to talk about the new module for VCVREC which is called Core Controller. This module gets 1 volt per octave input to the 6 offsets. For example, we can use ZZK source module as a source for this Core Controller. Let's insert it and let's turn these knobs a bit. Thereby, we are generating 6 offsets from the root voltage or not. This is how it looks like on the scope. The most important and interesting thing in this module is a built-in chromatic quantizer. Ok, let's take offset 2 and let's have a look to the tuner. What not tuner from Skrillar? Here is a C sharp 4. So the core generator gives us so huge possibilities in created cores by ourselves. And also in using a polyphony in this VREC as well. Ok, let's add a polyphonic oscillator. I'm gonna use Vult Basil for this. And let's take VCV Merge model. And then send those offsets to the merge. And the next step, uh, we're gonna take some module, which will be some our polyphonic oscillator outputs. So now the quantizer is on. So you can hear chromatical changes. But what if we're gonna turn this off? We will hear those magic vibrations and we can create pretty awesome vibrator with this. And what about adding sequencer to control the root node? Let's add Bock Audio ADDR sequencer. And let's take a simple clock, for example by GV. Ok, let's divide it by 4 and set 3 steps on the sequencer. Let's choose the range in the context menu of ADDR and then randomize the module. So we can get cool and effective result at the same time. Let's set it right to ZZK source so as not to break the chain. Actually, CRC now is a quantizer for the ADDR sequencer. Regarding this mystical vibrator, we can make a difference with some module from the new pack from Alessandro Petrone stock audio modules. This module is called Polyspread. It's the same as a sum module, polysum module, but with interesting things inside it, like spread voices over the pan. So now I don't want to use VCV sum anymore, let's change it to polyspread. And we need to connect both its outputs left and right into stereo input of Squinky Labs module mixer or X4 expander and let's turn the stereo knob up. Yes, it's kinda unison spreading now.
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about a quantizer. I prepared 16 presets of the different chords for this chord controller. It's indicated in the file names which offsets are using in these presets. The presets are available now on my Patreon, so everyone who wants to support my work and channel can grab it on this page. Thank you for supper, guys. So let's choose power fourth. And let's get rid of all offsets except second. So we will get a fourth. And now let's choose fifth. Let's move to a more difficult one, major chords, and connect third offset to the merge. You can also add a polyscope from Amalgamated Harmonics to see what's going on, on with your poly signal. Or just use a regular VCV fundamental scope. Okay, let's add a basil's poly out. And also let's connect a detuned output from Polyspirit to see what's happening here. So the Polyspirit module has an CV input for both stereo and volume control, and I think this is modulation time. Okay, we just take an LFO. So the high grades we can get something like a stereo polyphonic AM synthesis type, why not? And now we can do something like this. Very interesting. So now the speed of the LFO hits the notes. Let's do kinda FM feedback. Add a cable from Polyspirit to modulation 1 CV input and another output to modulation 2 CV input as well. And if we're gonna choose another more difficult chord, we can immediately get a mess. Because it's too many poly information here now. Just let's weaken our modulations or even get rid out of it. And if we add feedback from Basil to its modulations, we also can get pretty cool stuff. We can also use a red noise for sprite modulation. Let's add colors from screen collapse. And choose the red noise so that we get a beautiful pen modulation now. Finally, let's add some chord minor 6. I'm not really into music theory stuff, so I always do double check. So I need to say that is a great free replacement for recent VCV Chords Premium module and you can really stay with VCV one if you want to buy it. But if you want to try your chord skills or even experimenting with non-quantizing operations, 
This core controller is a definitely worth a try and it's free. And one last moment here, if you want the same functionality which in the BCV cores has, you just to add 8 phase from store melder and save different cores into different slots of 8 phase and even clock it. It phase offers you a choice between the different triggers. Look for this in right click menu. So I glad to make this tutorial for you guys. Subscribe to my channel and keep for updates. See you next time.